Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. You know, I am for the truth. Nothing but a truth. I'm all for it. So, there's no surprise, no secrets. I was born in Romania by genetics. I'm partly Romanian. All right, I'm an American citizen. Good for me. That's reality. I'm making these videos. Good, now you know. So, I'm always for revealing people's past and seeing who's who, what's what. Let's say tomorrow I become the US president, which I can't because I was born in a foreign country. But let's say I become a US president. And then I appoint as my vice president or my running mate another Romanian born. And then my defense minister, another Romanian born. And then, I don't know, a uh, American citizens, all of them. And then, I don't know, the Secretary of State, another Romanian, and the Secretary of State and uh, whatever, uh, CIA, Romanian, Romanian, all Romanians over there. Nothing wrong with that, correct? Correct. But at least you should know that. Don't you think that would be something that you would be like, wait a minute, Emil, how come all these guys are Romanian? Have something Romanian in there, and they're in America. Hmm. I think you would, you would definitely think something is not kosher, is it? Well, if that's the truth, that's the truth. You can infer whatever you want, but the fact is, Emil is Romanian, the vice president is Romanian, the CIA chief, the FBI chief, the pop up. Okay, now let me show you this article. I have three articles regarding a uh, this kind of situation. I'm not implying anything. I'm just revealing evidence. Okay, and you think about it. The first article that I'm going to reveal is this Ukraine form, and we have here Zhmihal, who is the prime minister of the Ukrainian nation. Now Zhmihal is Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So Zhmihal was obviously appointed by Zelensky. Zelensky is Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. He was elected. All right. It's okay. Reznikov was Jewish. Um, you know, the defense minister and Yermak is Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. All these guys appointed. Now, Prime Minister Zhmihal and Pritzker, this woman here, discuss involvement of U.S. business in Ukraine's restoration. Nothing wrong with that. Prime Minister Denis Zhmihal had his first online conversation with the U.S. Special Representative for Ukraine's economic recovery, Penny Pritzker. Now, that person represents United States of America, all right? She was appointed by Biden, all right? All right, let's see who this person is in charge of uh, the economic recovery. And we find out right here that she is right here, Penny Pritzker. She's an American billionaire businesswoman. And we find out here she's just by, just, just she's Jewish. That's okay, she's Jewish. Uh, this guy is Jewish, that, that, no, nothing wrong with that. But we find, we find something more. We get this little article, European Pravda, when these guys uh, tell us that the representative of immigrant family from Kiev Oblast to be responsible for U.S. money to Ukraine. That person. That person. And that person is the same as this one right here. So this person is in charge, responsible for U.S. money to Ukraine. Oh, and what does this mean? So we find out that in the relations between Ukraine and United States, two countries, we have a American with a Ukrainian, they are dealing with the US money for the Ukrainian money. A new influential figure has emerged. <laughs> she was there always. She is highly influential by all indicators. Wait. On September 14th, President Biden appointed Penny Pritzker, the one over there, to the newly created position of Special Representative for Ukraine's Economic Recovery. Money, 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 money. Now, who is this person? Here it is. For me, she says, the chance to represent the United States in this role is personal because my family fled Ukraine in late 1800s from an area just outside Kiev. So my family are immigrants from the area that is being challenged by the Russians. Having the opportunity on behalf of idiots us, the United States, to work with our allies and partners to help Ukraine remain, Zhmihal Zelensky and so on, an independent democratic state, progressing on its chosen not path 
of European integration is a calling of the highest order. My family was were grain store owners originally and left because of the program in Tsarist Russia. So she has something personal against Russia. And she is, right? She's just, I'm not having anything wrong with that. I'm just pointing out she is an American pop-up. The other guy is an Ukrainian pop-up and they take care of the money. And she is also Ukrainian. Why is she not a Romanian? Why is she not a, I don't know, a French, a Hungarian? Why is she not? Blinken is a Zelensky Stein. Nothing wrong with that. Victoria Nuland is a Zelensky Stein. Nothing wrong with that. But remember how I started this video. What if, what if I would be the president? I would appoint all these guys being. Don't you think that would be something? Mm? It's like you would say, for instance, a point that, or let's say the president of, I'm just going to give something very bad. Not bad, but let's put it in this context. Let's say you have uh, some Palestinians being in charge of Israel, the Jewish state. If nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Let's say you have a Palestinian president in uh, Tel Aviv or Jerusalem. He's the president, the prime minister, the defense minister, the Mossad chief, all them Palestinians. Or let's say Iranians. Why not? <laughs> If that would be the case, I think people would connect certain dots, not here. Why? Because there's nothing to connect. Nothing to connect. I'm just bringing you information, my friends. That's all. So anyway, here is my friends. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.